Guys, we gotta be honest. Is she drunk? Who? It was. It was school photo day. You remember what that's like? Going to school on picture day? Is she drunk? Americans, we have to start being honest with ourselves here. I mean, we saw it with Joe Biden. Everybody was saying he's mental, he's deranged, he's got he's got dementia, a slight case of it at least, and nobody believed it. It was a lie, 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 lie. Now, for the last two years, everybody's been hating on Kamala. She's been horrible. She's been, you know, build back better, which is build back broker, and she's going to continue doing that. She has no plan not to, to, to stop. But now everybody is saying, hey, and has been saying that Kamala's drunk half the time that she's on stage. Who dressed up in their best, got all ready, knew what they were going to wear the night before. Or with an interview. And it's true. It, it's true. So, so now we're going to be leaving a, a, a dementia president saying goodbye to him to replace it with replace him with a, uh, a drunk president who is just so flower happy and in uh, and, and gay pro- LGBTQ and, and inflation and she has no idea what things cost. She doesn't care about the border. She doesn't I mean what's going on here? It, when we see the de- when we see the demise if America sees the demise of America as we know it, and they had a choice between cheaper prices and straight kids or charge everybody astronomical prices for what their livelihoods cost them, keep the poor poor and the wealthy really ain't gonna affect them, keep them richer, going full-fledged with the LGBTQ and as we saw in the White House with Biden, it was it was crazy during the Pride Month and during these gay festivals and people stripping outside on the on the White House lawn, the trans and all this going crazy in the White House. That's your house. That's what you, and people went nuts. You think Kamala's any less? She's more. And she went and got Waltz, who is the promoter of the LGBTQ world and wants the whole world gay. It, 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 inflation doesn't matter. What's going on? And now we're having a president that is going to be wasted half the time? Are you crazy? Have Americans gone crazy in it? Let this interview say something to you. And not only that, I could pop up about 15 or 20 other times when Kamala was wasted doing on stage. You can't say she's not. It's there. It's in the body language. It's in the slurred words. It's in all these things that she's doing. And Americans are... Donald Trump is a racist. No, no. Enough with that. Enough. And you can't make racist policies. You can make LGBTQ policies and inflation policies, but you can't make racist policies. What's this really about? <sighs> I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. I'm I'm just totally like, I, th- I think the world's gone crazy. I think the world's gone nuts. And whoever, the, the people who voted for Biden, all the people who, who were telling him not to, you not to, you owe America, you owe us. You owe us. And what, what are you going to repay with? A Kamala? <laughs> really? Really? Is that where we're going with this? Is that what we're doing now? Is that what we're doing now? Oh, I need, I, I need somebody to come and, and tell me that, that this is normal. That, that the way Kamala is acting is normal. You think Putin or Xi or Kim Jong-un or any of these world leaders out there are going to give her an ounce of respect? Africa has thrown her to the curb. Africa knows better. They can't stand her. Black Africa. They can't stand her. Well, neither can the Muslims either up there because they can't stand her policies and her LGBTQ and her climate change and all this crazy stuff that she's going with. Just it, it, it. wake up, world. Wake up, America. You can't. Let this be the face of the United States again. You, you already screwed up Biden. Now you're going to screw up again just because you think, just because you got these uh, left-wing media outlets throwing you this racist bone. That's all they got. That's all they got. He's a racist. He's a racist. That's all they got. Was the world better with Biden than it was with Trump? Wake up. Wake up. 
That's all I'm asking. <laughs> I don't think we're asking much. These are my thoughts, just my opinions. Let me know what yours are down below. Please like, subscribe, click that notification button so we get information out like this. You can get information in. Of these positions, when you have that kind of microphone in front of you, it's a crying shame. It's a crying shame. I mean, my heart breaks for this community. You know, there were um, children, elementary school children, who it was, it was school photo day. You remember what that's like? Going to school on picture day? Who were dressed up in their best, got all ready, knew what they were going to wear the night before, and had to be evacuated. Children. Children. Um, a whole community put in fear. And I'll say a couple things about it. Um, one, you know, I learned a long time ago in my career, having a background as a prosecutor, when you have these positions, when you have that kind of microphone in front of you, you really ought to understand at a very deep level how much your words have meaning. I learned at a very young stage of my career that the meaning of my words could impact whether somebody was free or in prison. As Attorney General, I was of California, fifth largest economy in the world. I was acutely aware that my words could move markets. When you are bestowed with a microphone that is that big, there is a profound responsibility that comes with that. That is an extension of what should not be lost in this moment, this concept of the public trust. To then understand what the public trust means. It means that you have been invested with trust to be responsible in the way you use your words, much less how you conduct yourself. All she's got. Pull on heartstrings, tug on heartstrings, and word candy, ear candy, to try to make racist. He's racist. She's drunk. She is drunk. I don't care what anybody says. Anybody. Anybody. If, if you say she's not, you are in denial. You're in denial. There's a lot of Trumpsters that are still out there in denial, too, that, that Trump won the debate. He didn't. He, he got beat. He, he lost to Kamala. He didn't win to Joe Biden, really. He was just there. But he can do, he can, let's be honest, he can make the economy better than she can. He, he can get things right again. But if you don't think she's drunk, you're lying to yourself. And if you want this woman in office, then I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what to say. Anyway, I'll let it, I'll let, I'll let it finish and, and let her go on, even though the rest of it's just ramble and meh. Uh, just here, here, if you want the rest. And especially when you have been and then seek to be again President of the United States of America. She's drunk. And so I go back to it's a crying shame, literally. What's happening to those families, those children in that community? Not to mention... What is happening in terms of, look, you say you care about law enforcement, law enforcement resources being put into this because of these serious threats that are being issued against a community that is living a productive good life before this happened and, and spewing lies. She's pandering. That They're are grounded in tropes, tropes that are age old. And look, I said it not very far from here the other day at the debate. This is not new. This is not new in terms of these tropes. This is not new in terms of where it's coming from. And, you know, whether it is refusing to rent to people, rent to black families, whether Lies. it is taking out a full page ad in the New York Times, 
against five innocent black Black and Latino Latino teenagers, the Central Park Five, calling for their execution? Whether it is referring to the first black president of the United States with a lie, birther lies? And look, the American people deserve, and I do believe want better than this. I do believe that. I know, I know, the vast majority of us as Americans know we have so much more in common than what separates us. I know that. I know that regardless of someone's background, their race, their gender, their geographic location, I know that people are deeply troubled by what is happening to that community in Springfield, Ohio. And it's got to stop. And we've got to say that you cannot be entrusted with standing behind the seal of the President of the United States of America, engaging in that hateful rhetoric that, as usual, is designed to divide us as a country, is designed to have people pointing fingers at each other. It's designed to do that. And I think most people in our country, regardless of their race, are starting to see through this nonsense and, and to say, you know what, let's turn the page on this. This is exhausting and it's harmful. And it's hateful. And, 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 and grounded in some age-old stuff that we should not have the tolerance for. So let's turn the page and chart a new way forward and say, you can't have that microphone again. She's strong. Love y'all. God bless. Have a peace day. I'm out. I'm out. Way out. Just... <laughs>